It's a one month until signing day. Welcome into the recruiting roundup. This is Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen bringing you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting. And today we're going to bring you the top players that are still yet to make the decision of where they're going to be playing at the next level. Two guys we've talked about quite a bit. We're just going to touch on briefly Priest Willis and Devin Allen. They've made most of their visits. Devin Allen still has two more. He's going to visit Stanford this weekend. Both were in the All-American games last week. But some of the guys we're going to touch on this week, some guys we haven't talked Talked about as much recently. The first one, a running back out of Thunderbird, Kanai Benoit. He's a kid that had an absolutely phenomenal senior season. A rush for well over 2,000 yards. He racked up 12 offers before it's all said and done. He's already visited Colorado State. I think UNLV and Utah State will probably end up being there in the end for Benoit. For Benoit, he's a solid player. Another one, a quarterback, Tyler Williams, won a state championship last year, but he's probably going to play defense instead of quarterback like he did in high school. Played safety as a sophomore, and I really liked him then. Played quarterback out of need. He had early offers from Colorado, San Diego State, Army. I think those schools are kind of out of the mix. Army still being in as well as some of the other academies and Ivy League schools. I know he has a visit set up to Yale as well in January. A guy who's played quarterback in high school and will play quarterback at the next level, that's Tyler Rogers out of Liberty. He had a great senior season, and we've talked about him before, being kind of under-recruited. I still feel he's that way. He only has offers right now from Air Force, and has a trip set up to the University of North Dakota. South Dakota State had offered previously as well. So he just has really those, those three offers. We'll, we'll see what, what he ends up doing. A cornerback on the defensive side of the football, Ryan McKinley out of Boulder Creek, he also had a great senior season. All-state player, had six, uh, six offers, um, has narrowed it down to three. He's going to visit Montana, Northern Arizona, and then FCS National Champ, North Dakota State. A player on the offensive side of the ball, wide receiver Elroy Masters, a guy that was relatively unknown at the beginning of the season and now has a bunch of choices that he can make. He's close to 15 offers. He's visited San Jose State. Their staff changed and went to the University of Colorado. Elroy thinks that CU might be in the mix and offer and trip him as well. Um, I know San Diego State and Hawaii might also end up getting visits from Elroy. Going back to the defensive side of the ball, there's two players from Desert Vista. The first one, Lorenzo Melvin, defensive end. What's the latest with him? A little bit undersized, and that's probably the reason he doesn't have big-time offers. Has a handful of FCS offers right now. He's visited North Dakota, visited South Dakota State. He's also going to visit NAU, and then he'll make his choice from there. And on the offensive side of the football, a teammate of his running back, Jarek Hilgers. Big kid, six foot, 210 pounds, played very, very well as a senior, had early offers from Air Force and from San Diego State. I still think the Falcons Air Force are going to be in the mix uh, at, at the end for, for Hilgers. Staying at the running back position, a very talented player out of Mountain Ridge, had a fantastic senior season. That's Treshawn Favors. Like you said, had a breakout senior season, ended up racking up almost 12 offers. He's tripped to Montana and tripped to North Dakota State. I think those two are going to be the two finalists for Favors. And a tight end, Patrick Baldenegro, very bright kid and a very talented player. He's the last guy on our top undecided list. You mentioned that he's smart. He has a bunch of Ivy League schools still on him, Harvard being one. He's going to visit Air Force, and Northern Arizona might end up being in the mix as well. Well, those are the top players around the state of Arizona still yet to make their decision on where they're going to be playing football at the next level. And make sure you stay with us as we're going to bring the latest on them when they make that decision leading up to signing day on February 6th. Until next time, this is Jason Jewell. My name is Jared Cohen. You've been watching the Recruiting Roundup on ProsToPreps.com.